In this video, I'd like to talk about rewriting exponential expressions. So in these example problems, we're going to look at different exponential expressions and rewrite them in various ways. So this will give us a lot of practice for manipulating these different exponential expressions, since sometimes written a certain way can be useful, or sometimes it can be more useful writing it in a different way. So let's start first by rewriting this problem. We have 3 to the 5x plus 3 multiplied by 27 to the x power. And notice we need to rewrite this as 3 to some function f of x. So in other words, we need to combine these two different exponential expressions with a base of 3. So looking at this problem, this first expression here already has the correct base. So for now, we're just going to leave that. But this second expression here, this 27 to the x, this does not have a base of 3. So we can start by trying to rewrite this with the correct base. And what we need to realize is that 27 is really just 3 raised to the third power. So if we multiply 3 three different times, we will get 27. So with this fact, let's just make a substitution and rewrite this 27 to the x as really 3 to the third all raised to the x. So let's first rewrite our first expression. So we have 3 to the 5x plus 3. And now we have 27 to the x. But like I mentioned, we can rewrite 27 as 3 to the third power. And 27 was raised to the x power. So this 3 to the third would be raised to the x power. And from here, now that we have the same base, we can use exponent properties to just combine these together. First of all, we have an exponent raised to an exponent. And remember, let's say if we had x raised to the a power and all of that was raised to the b power, that when you have an exponent to an exponent, you multiply the two exponents. So we can use that idea here. I'll just again rewrite that first expression. So 3 to the 5x plus 3. And for the second one, since we have 3 to the third raised to the x, an exponent to an exponent, we're going to multiply. So this is just 3 to the 3x. And from here, now that we have these two exponential expressions and they have the same base, we can just add the exponents. Since remember our other exponent rule that we can use here, if let's say we have a to the x multiplied by a to the y, and these are different x and a values compared to this first rule, then if they have the same base, we just add the exponents. This is just equal to a to the x plus y. So since they have the same base, we can just add the two exponents or exponential expressions. So we give them the same base and now we're taking this 5x plus 3 and we're going to add it to the 3x, all in the exponent. And finally, we can simplify this. Since we can just add like terms, 5x plus 3x, that's 8x. So we have 3 to the 8x plus 3. So we needed to rewrite this expression as 3 to the f of x, or 3 raised to this function f of x. And since we are able to simplify this to 3 to the 8x plus 3, this right here, this is our missing function. So we can conclude that f of x and our problem is really just 8x plus 3. And so we can put that into our box here. 